What's going on everyone? It's your boy Yellow and I'm back again with a, another box opening video. Sorry about the last three videos that you've seen. When I did them, like I was still under the weather so my voice was kind of like, uh, so I'm a lot better now and it's been weeks since that happened. So, But back to what we're here for, box opening. We're doing another one and I've been excited to get this product because I needed another one. What we're gonna be opening today is the DJI RS2 Pro Combo. Not the basic, the Pro one. As you know, nowadays gimbals has been a very hot commodity in the filmmaking world, especially amongst just, you know, freelance filmmakers, one-man band filmmakers, you know what I mean? It definitely helps make your shot look a lot better. You know, a little bit of movement always goes a long way, especially if it's a nice, clean movement. When I first started filmmaking, gimbals didn't really exist like that. It wasn't a thing like, the only thing we had was either you get the big steady cam arm, which was like, you know, a few grand, or the smaller like fly cam, which was the hardest thing to balance. None of it was really digital like that. You'd have to actually balance it, testing and moving and everything like that. With gimbals nowadays, all you gotta do is you just gotta balance it as best as possible. Still gotta balance it properly. And then once you turn it on electronically, the rest does the magic. So I originally had the Ronin MX, which was a sub of the original Ronin. It was supposed to be a smaller, but not the small M model, but a little bit bigger than the M model, but smaller than the original Ronin. And the way they advertised it, like they had a red cam on it, and I have a red Raven, you know. And the way that they promoted it, they had a red cam on it. I don't know which one it was. You know, it could have been a Scarlet, Scarlet X, but even at that, like the Raven is an even more lightweight camera than that. I just had issues with trying to put it on there. And then I found out that like, you gotta get extension bars to put on the cage to extend it down a little bit so it could fit. And I did that. The only thing that's weird is that at the time, DJI didn't sell the extension rods for the cage. So what I did was I had to go third part Party, which was kind of weird but you know it is what it is so I did that and then I was pretty much over that and I hadn't used it in over a year I just sold it on offer up and I decided to go with this Ronin I saw some people online you know play and try to put a red on it and it worked pretty well I'm not putting my hopes that it will hold mine but you know at least I can try to give it a shot later on at the end of the day I'll still use it for you know DSLR and mirrorless cameras and stuff like that because you know having something like this is pretty important and the dope thing about this combo it comes with everything it comes with the wireless follow focus I think it has other stuff where you can tap it to your phone and use it for vision but you know we'll see what it does just giving you an FYI every time I do a box opening I don't pre-open it like a lot of other people I just open it in front of the camera looking at it for the first time just like you so you know, sometimes when you open up something, it's still brand new and fresh to you. So I want to give that real surprise. So you're seeing everything that I have in each thing. And I'll try to read and get as much info from me opening up as much as possible. So, you know, if it seems like I'm slow and this might not be helpful, hey, this might not be the video for you. But if you just want to see what's inside and what it is to make it work and stuff like that, or at least me trying to make it work, this might be the video for you. So other than that, here we go. We're about to get started on opening the DJI Ronin RS2, the combo pack, the pro combo. All right, as you know, it's a trusty knife. Honestly, you don't really need a knife for this. It's just more of the plastic. So I'm just cutting the plastic up. Ooh Trust me, I couldn't wait to do this. I want to do this video as fast as possible because I want to use this as fast as possible. So I think that's enough to open this. Rip the plastic. Try not to talk as much while I'm taking off the plastic because last time when I opened up the Insta360 Live was plastic all over while I was talking, so I won't do that. All right, here we go. I don't have much space up here, so I'm gonna try my best to back up and build whatever I can in front of me. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything. So first things first, we're gonna open the package up. Beautiful. My boy Robert just bought one last week out of nowhere. Surprised the shit out of me. Kind of made me like, you know what? I need to grab this. So it comes with a nice case. Everything's all inside. You 
you got two pamphlets. So of course, you know, the manual book and everything like that. So as you can see right here, it has a nice little front flap so you can slide other stuff in here. I'm assuming, you know, well, it's not that much space. I was gonna say you could put the manual book in here, but it's actually a lot smaller. So I'm, I'm assuming maybe cords, memory cards, little stuff, maybe a cloth. So it has two zippers. As you can see right here, you can open one up here, down here. So I don't know what each one is. So we're about to take a look now. So this is the top zipper. Oh, wow. So, you know, foam piece to protect everything. As you can see in here, okay, if I'm not mistaken, I did, like I said, I did a little bit of research. So this is supposed to be for the arm. So when you put the gimbal, or the Ronin up here. This is like an extra arm. You gotta get an arm here to kind of hold it another way if you want to do that. So we'll put that back inside. Won't need that yet. Here is the battery grip. Looks similar to the Ronin S. I think the Ronin S is a little bit bigger. Well, here's the shit part. It's not charged. So while I, I'm gonna go throw this on the charger real quick while we check the other stuff. Give me one sec. And we back. Okay. Let's see what else we've got in here. So this is the phone holder. So you can put it next to your battery grip and putting the phone right here so you can stick it right here. So I'm gonna, uh, oops, I need to tighten that up. The base plate. So this is interesting because this is usually like the regular base plate right here, right? And then it has a smaller one right here. So I don't know what that means, but you know. Is it two plates? We'll see, I'm gonna put this to the side. And of course, the tripod bottom. So, wow, this is really sturdy. If you have the uh, original Ronin S, the bottom is made out of plastic, but this has more of like a, like a hard metal aluminum with the rubber grips on it. So it's a lot more, not as cheap, right? Let me put this to the side. All right, so that's it for this side of it. So you got this side right here, there's two zippers, so. So here, the Raven Eye. So what I know about what the Raven Eye is, this is basically where you can, if you're familiar with film products, it's similar to a Teradek. You plug this to your camera and it taps picture to go to your phone. So for the most part, most cameras, so look, it uses, it has the RSS and the HDMI. You can see that. I think that's like the side to put next to the gimbal to attach onto it. And of course, these are the antennas. Antennas is kind of, oh, it's not that bad. Can just have it up like that. So I'll put this down. All right, let's see what else is in here. So if I'm not mistaken, it looks similar to like a uh, unusual base plates. You usually put it at the end of, uh, for your lens so it doesn't tilt down while you tighten up the base plate on it if it's a long lens on the camera. So it usually would like hold up the lens, but could be wrong. So I'll put this to the side. It comes with like a little like strap thing too, as you can see there. All right, more stuff. As you can see, screws and you know, Little brackets and uh, got a little tool there too, a little Allen wrench tool. All right, more accessories. I'm gonna pull them all out on the bottom flap. So this is your follow focus knob that comes with it right here. The knob, right? Boom. This is to wrap around your lens so you can grip on and be able to control the follow focus. Another bracket thing. I'm gonna. We'll figure out what it is. I won't take up too much time. I'm trying to make these shorter because I know I'll be long as a mother sometimes because I'm confused every time I look at everything. I'm like, oh, what's this? What's this? There's another base plate thing. Oh, it looks similar. It's like, it's like a thick base plate type of ordeal. It's a rod. I don't know what kind of rod it is for, but we will figure it out rod of course all right I'll close this top one up I'll open this bottom one I love how compact this is because the DJI Ronin S it comes with like a bigger foam one but it's like kind of lunky this is like a nice little carry case 
I'm gonna open the bottom one right now. It even has like a little thing if you want to strap it up, like a you know, way around your shoulder. So it has a, as you can see, zipper right here, cables. So it looks like it has like every cable to like every camera you need from USB-C to whatever it is, you know, micro, HDMI mini, let's see, more cables. I think this is for the Raven Eye. A lot of HDMI inputs. And then let me show you this side of it. So HDMI mini and like USB-C and all the other stuff, you know, for other cameras. So I'm guessing this would be the charging cable, of course, USB-C type. I wish they come with, I wish DJI starts, I mean, some some products do, some products don't, but I wish they give you like, you know, a little uh, cube so you can charge. You know? So here's the actual gimbal head itself. This is small. I don't say small, but it's not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be, from the camera, it looks so much bigger, but am I sure, is this really the RS2? RS2 and RSC2, but yeah, this is it. Open this up. See, it also comes with like corner, like plastic cover grips to, you know, keep it protected, I guess. So you can unlock. That's cool. With the Ronin S, like it doesn't have locks like this, so you can lock up. Usually you'd have to like tie it up if you want to keep it in place, but this one you can unlock and lock it, see? And then if you want to lock it up, oops. I'll lock it up just hit the lock and it won't move same as this side too this one that's crazy every side every corner even this i don't even know what this one's for right here let's see oh you gotta press the button though oh this is to lock and unlock the bottom so let me put this down Still one more thing in here. Let me double check. So there's another foam thing. Oh, that's it. Got me all confused. So it kind of tells you how to put everything down. That's pretty much everything. So let me go see if it's charged up and let's figure out how to put this together. Okay, so I'm gonna open the manual. Last time I kept calling it a menu. It's a manual. Quick startup guide. It says quick startup guide. Look how thick this thing is. And that's a quick startup guide. <laughs> oh, that's why, because it's in a bunch of different languages. As you can see right here, you see the, the little thin sections. That's for each language. So it's only this little part. Just want to get it set up. So, you know, some of the obvious that I already know is taking this guy right here, which is little tripod bottom that it comes with and then you put it right under the battery grip right here screw that on that's the usual right like that and so this is different so as you can see right here you have to take off this guy the cover for it so you want to stick this right in here and that's where you see right here that's where you lock it up if i'm not mistaken lock it so this won't come out. That's how it goes. You sit it like that. Let me see. Here, let me hold it back. Try to balance it. Well, of course, DJI have to download the app. But if it's just a Ronin app, I already have it right here on the bottom. Ronin app right here. There you go. So now I got to switch this around. There's so many like grip, you know, rubber grips to protect and keep everything closed up, which is really dope. I like that. See, and then you put it away whenever you need to. So, you know, every time you turn it on, just like the last Ronin or a lot of DJI, you have to double press wherever the power is for the battery. So you want to hold that. So it's only one, but you know, it's enough. So that should stay on. And the power button's on this side, so you hold that. And you see, there's a screen right here. Crazy, right? So, all right, I'm about to do this with you guys. So, you see, it says English. So, as far as I know, this is actually touchscreen too, right? 
But yeah, that's crazy. So what if that's what I want to do? Okay. So connect to DJI to activate Ronin. So you see here, I have it on. So I'm gonna try to put DJI RS2. I think that's it right there. I think it popped up perfectly. So you're just gonna hit that guy. This is password required. I'm assuming it's a default password because it's a brand new device. It says default password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. It's required prior to using. So do so information. Look. Activation is required prior to using the device. Do so information regarding your device and DJI account will be uploaded to DJI. Please agree. Proceed. Blah 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 blah. Agree. Activate. Connecting the server. Activation complete. Device activation is completed. Okay. And then they're trying to sell you DJI refresh. Care refresh. I decide to get it. I'm probably using it a lot, so I might get it. But you know, I'm gonna skip for now. So I'm gonna click down here to activate. All right. All right. Oh no, that's to activate the refresh kit. So we'll hit skip. So balance wizard, motor parameters, gimbal button to start. So you see right here. So it has balance tests and stuff like that, but because we don't have a camera on it, I mean, I can always try to put the red on it, but I don't know if that's gonna work correctly, but maybe, you know what, let me try it. I'm just gonna put just the body and nothing else. No lens, no nothing. All right, so here's the Red Raven. All right, so these screws. All right, guys, so my bad, my camera overheated because, you know, we were sitting here for like a long time, so. But check this out. I got it to balance and it works pretty good. There's no battery, there's no monitor on it and stuff, so we'll see how far it goes. But as of now, this is pretty solid. Look, okay. that's pretty crazy. So let me show you what was on my uh, monitor real quick. So the last thing that was on there says, press power button, double press power button to stop motors and then double press it again to turn them on. M, press the M button to switch between user profiles, press and hold the M button to enable sport mode. That's dope. And then camera control button, short press the camera control button to use autofocus for supported uh, camera models, press and start up, uh, and record or press and hold to take photos. And then you hit, oops, then you hit next. Okay, let me see, you see that. Trigger button, press and hold lock, enter mode, you know, just like the other one. You hold it on to lock it up so it doesn't move when you don't want it to. Then you, oops, I guess that was it, yeah. And you see down here, you connect to the Raven Eye. I don't know. If, do that. Oh, sorry, which app? <laughs> okay, hold on. What does it say right there? Connecting the Raven Eye will disconnect gimbal for DJI Ronin. Continue. Well, let's see here. So, this is the Raven Eye. You see right here has its component to connect to the side, I believe. You connect it. The Raven Eye has its own pamphlet right here. All right, guys, we back and check this out. Whole Holy shit. It's really holding the whole thing. I am tripping out right now. Like it's really, really working. I'm sitting at a tilt, so that's why it kind of looks all tilt. So I connected the, you can see down here on the bottom, that is the Raven Eye to my Red Raven. No correlation, well, no relation, but. Okay, I'm gonna try to connect it to this guy right here. So I'm gonna put this down because it's kind of heavy. So you see here, connect to Raven Eye. Uh, connect to, so basically disconnect the Ronin to connect to Raven Eye. Yeah, but we don't need that. Okay. So, so I gotta physically go on the Bluetooth and find the Raven Eye, hopefully it's somewhere down below. Oh, it's bright as hell right now. Raven Eye Wi-Fi, duh, not the Bluetooth. But I don't see the Raven Eye popping up anywhere on my Wi-Fi network at all. There's nothing connected. Oh, there it is. It finally popped up right there. Raven Eye, so you hit that. It looks like I'm in. 
them in there. So now let's go back to the app. So you set a password and now you gotta re-enter the password when you go to the Wi-Fi. So it's basically you're sending a password to the Ravenite network. Join. Now I'm back on. So now it's a secure network. Now let's go back to the app. It's basically telling you everything right here on the monitor. This is actually live view from my red on this monitor, which is crazy. It tells you right there. Enable joystick. Virtual joystick. Tap and enable previews for functions such as you know zebra strikes, focus peaking, real time, all that. That's dope. Have to view cache videos. Drag selection for desired subject to follow. Try to hold as best I can so you can focus. It's just so bright, my bad. What is that? It's another language. Don't know what that means, but cool. So yeah. yeah. So disable Bluetooth. Enabling Bluetooth uh, may adversely affect Ravenite's performance, so you want to disable it. Just disable it on this side, just so, cause you don't need to connect to the Roni. Once you're connected, you'll be fine. So just get out of there. Let's go back and go. So it will reconnect. Yeah, look, and this is just like my room, sorry. Yeah, it might be a little dark cause I'm all set up here. I need to identify target. Well, obviously there's not, but look at this. Like, like this is my computer and monitor. A nice live view. See, that's my monitor on a TV. Let me just turn it this way. Oh, it's all good. That's crazy. And then you can literally connect it on your phone when you see put a phone holder right here and connect it that way so you can get live view on both views, which is pretty, pretty dope. So it's like a Teradek thing. So far, this has been, hadn't made any calls, no nothing. Like, it's been moving pretty damn good. I know it's a little bit harder. You change different modes on the M. You know, there's there's a lot of settings here. Right now it's really heavy, so I'm not gonna go through all of them, but as you can see, I'm sure you'll understand, you know, joystick speed, all that. Different modes, different follow speeds. So if you're familiar with Ronin's, you'll pretty much know what it is, effect mode. So it got a lot of different options. Peak mode, you know, time lapse mode, panorama. So, you know, like it, it does a lot of stuff. Like this has dolly zoom, 3D focus. So I know it, it, they do sell like a thing that can stick on here that can do 3D focus. Another thing too about this, from what I've actually did like prior research before getting this is like, you can do a mode where you can, you can move your phone around and the gimbal will move around exactly how your phone will move around if you have this on like a static location it's real crazy so you know it's dope is it's recording separately on here but it's not actually recording on the camera but so it's kind of recording its own thing it's getting a, a base like a double like a second tap wow that's it's like a second recording system through your camera from here ladies and gentlemen this is the ronin rs2 so yeah, let me put this guy down. So, so far, my review with the RED camera, it's pushing it, but it's it's holding it on pretty well. I, I don't recommend doing it all the time, but you know, if you wanna use it to get those nice shots and stuff like that, hey, like, try not to build it out too heavy and might be able to pull it off. But, you know, like I said, be careful because it's not the lightest thing in the world either to be able to carry something like this around. But other than that, it's very, very sturdy, strong. Right now, the retail price, so if you just get the base model, it's going for about 850 bucks, right? I got the Pro Combo, which comes with these extra accessories, which comes with the, you know, the Raven Eye, the Follow Focus, uh, the extra arm, the iPhone holder. For the Pro Combo, it costs about $1,000 plus tax, as you can say. But if you really think about it, just the Raven Eye itself, if you buy that separate thing, it's going for like 160 bucks by itself. If you look at the difference in price, it's $150 in difference. So if you're paying $150 difference and you decide to buy the Raven Eye separate, 
if you're trying to go with the lower speed you might as well get the pro combo because you're getting that plus all these extra accessories that can equal up to about 120 130 dollars outside of just the raven eye so you're getting at least like over 200 almost 300 dollars worth of extra stuff for another 150 dollars so i think it's worth it i don't know about you but to me that's worth it if you want to go with that route go with that route if not you know go cheaper i always recommend it's like if you're gonna buy something go big just buy the whole thing because like if you have the money now to get it just get it because you're gonna regret it later like dang i should have got that you know what i mean like that extra piece or whatever now it's gonna cost more and i'm spending a little bit more money than i usually should but other than that the ronin rs2 it's funny it says ronin s2 on here even though on the box it says the rs2 i don't get the name differentiating but this is a pretty solid gimbal so if you like this video hopefully you learned something from it but if you like it you know hit like subscribe comment and also hit that notification button that's something i keep forgetting to do but notification i try to drop a video once a week every other week i'm trying to drop something new if it's either a topic video or a vlog or maybe a box opening of something came out that i bought so yeah make sure you do that subscribe let everyone know hopefully this video is enough for you to kind of see what comes in this guy and and make you want to get one so if you like to follow directions follow the manual book like i do and that's about it so until next time we out of here peace